Assalamu alaikum and very good morning to all of you. Today in grade 6 science we are going to have a lesson of chapter 5 changes over time and lesson 5 that is changes in geology over time. From this chapter and the lesson 5 we are going to have a homework activity today and that homework activity we are going to do from the page workbook page number 124. So let's start with the homework activity of page 124. What the page 124 is? Here the page 124 is containing some table which the words are given in that. And from these words you have to choose the appropriate word to fill in the blanks which are given below. So now what are the words in this? We are going to see it. The first is about the absolute age. Second is original horizontally third word which we are going to use that is superposition then next is extinct the next is volcanoes rediscovered relative age and fossils these are the eight words which we are going to use in the appropriate sentence and we are going to complete these sentences by using these appropriate words so now let's have a a look on the page 124 so please open your workbook page 124 and look at the first sentence that is what the first sentence is scientists use two ideas scientists use two ideas to find a rocks dash or its age compared to the other rocks the second sentence that is the first idea is called dash a concept indicating that sedimentary rock forms in horizontal layers. The third sentence, the second idea, scientists use to determine relative age. The second idea, scientists use to determine the relative age is dash. The next is about the remains, traces or imprints of organisms are called dash. Next sentence is about the scientist can use an element's half-life to find the dash of fossils or rock layers. We have studied about the half-life where we were talking about the radioactive elements. When the radioactive elements get decay, then we can able to find out the half-life of that radioactive element so that we have already studied so related to that here the sentence is scientists can use an element's half-life to find the dash of fossil or rock layers now here earth's continuous changes are evidence uh, evidence by new islands and new dash earth's continuous changes are evidence by new islands and new dash the next is about when animals cannot adapt to earth changes when animals cannot adapt to earth changes they may become dash and the last sentence which we are going to answer that is about some species of animals that that were once extinct are being dash some species of animals that were once extinct are being dash. So these are the different sentences which we are going to answer in the today's homework. So now you have to answer these questions. So we are with the page 124. So let's go and check the, what are the answers for these questions. So the first sentence that is scientists use two ideas to find rocks relative age the first word which we are going to use that is uh, the first fill in the blanks which we are going to use that is the relative age or its age compared to the rocks air uh, to the other rocks the second sentence we are using that is the first idea is called original horizontally uh, original horizontally a uh, concept indicating that sedimentary rock forms in horizontal layers. The second idea scientists use to determine relative age is superposition. The next is about the remains, traces 
or imprints of organisms are called fossils we are well aware about the fossils so here scientists can use an elements half life to find to find the absolute age of fossil or rock layer so here we are going to find out the absolute age where we have already studied about the radioactive elements and the decay of that radioactive element from which we can able to find out the half life of that particular fossil or rock layer so here the earth's continuous changes are evidenced by new islands and new volcanoes so the next word is about volcanoes here now when animals cannot adapt to earth changes they may become extinct they may become extinct and the last sentence which we are going to answer that is some species of animals that were once extinct are being reduced rediscovered some species of animals that were once extinct are being rediscovered so these are the different words which we have been used here so with this we are going to conclude the today's lesson today's uh, homework assignment and we will, i will be back with the new videos till then thank you and goodbye